Good evening, learners. Welcome to Ink Tutors. This is KCP 2018 English Past Paper. In case you are just uh, joining us, you can hit the subscribe button to get updates from us. Okay, we move on to answering the questions. Read the passage below. It contains blank spaces numbered 1 to 15. For each blank space, choose the best alternative from the choices given. Right, the day was calm, bright dash warm. So which of the conjunctions given below is appropriate to fill in the gap numbered 1 here? A or B but C and and D even you cannot say the day was calm bright or warm here yeah? you are not giving alternatives you are simply make you are on, only giving addition and the words the conjunction you use to make that addition is end you are adding you no know, warmth to brightness and calm so option C will be choosing as our answer N N is the right answer the day was calm, bright and warm Waigua, James, Lonan and I dash our way to Mambo Park to play what were we doing? we were on our way you cannot see we were along our way in this context, you cannot say we we were in our way, and you cannot say we were off our way. We were on. That is the right word to use to fill in that gap. On our way to Mambo Park to play. Just a few meters from the park, James felt something that had dashed to his shoe. What had happened to his shoe? Something had stuck to that shoe not something head on to the to the shoe not something trapped the shoe something did not join to the shoe the right word to use is stuck something stuck to his shoe okay must be a piece of chewing gum or something he murmured as he bent over to remove the object you bend over or you bent over Okay, that is option D. He bent over. To remove the object. What he removed from his shoe dash a dirty 500 shilling note. What was it? That is option. That is number 5 now. Option A is. Option B had been. Option C would be. And option D was. You are talking about a past event that the the story here is being told in the past tense. Do you use is? That is not. You don't use is. Do you use had been? You are simply using a simple past tense. Had been is past perfect tense, and it all would be. So the right option is was, which is simple, simple past tense was a dirty 500 shilling note wow what dash luck what dash luck you don't say a lock okay you don't say real luck you don't say serious luck you don't describe luck as great but you can talk you can describe it as good what good luck that is option that is option b what good luck okay let's go and dash ourselves with the money what do you do to yourselves do you enjoy yourselves do you organize yourself yourselves do you occupy yourselves do you please yourselves what do you do you enjoy yourself or yourselves so the writer here was talking of enjoying themselves so option a is right here you enjoy yourselves Mind you, there must be an object. Anytime you use enjoy, there must be an object after it. You don't just enjoy. 
there must be something you enjoy. Either yourself or your meal. There must be something. So, always uh, be mindful of that. Okay, we move on. Number eight. Okay, let us go and enjoy ourselves with the money, said Waigua. I know a good restaurant where we dash go for a nice meal. Option A, should. Option B, must. Option C, can. And option D, will. Option C is the right answer. Where we can go for a good, a nice meal. That's option C. Okay, number nine. All you think of is that should be food there. I think that there is a mistake. Why, why, why? No, no dash. You didn't do well last time. No dash. You didn't do well last time. Is it no surprise? Do you say no surprise? Do you say no care? No guilt? Or no wonder? I think the, the, the right answer is no wonder. No wonder you didn't do well last term. Because you was always thinking of, of food. Always thinking of food. He was not thinking of how he could get uh, relevant books. How he could get uh, good books. Always thinking of food. Okay. So no wonder he did not do well last term. I think we should dash the money in a few books. That was a suggestion made by one of them. So, A, put. B, spend. C, use. And D, save. Right? You spend money on something. So, if the preposition on had been used here, the right answer would have been B, spend. So, it would have been, I think we should spend the money on a few books. But since uh, in is used instead of on, you cannot use spend. So spend is out of it. You cannot use uh, option C, which is use. Let's use the money in a few books. You cannot say save here. Yeah? You don't save money. Okay, so you don't save money in books. What the right option here is put. So we can say let's, let's, we should put the money in a few books. And the, this speaker here is talking you no know, figuratively about uh, investment investing the money in books okay so our answer is option a which is put all you think of is food why no dash okay no wonder you didn't do well last time i said i said i think we should dash the money in we should put the money in a few books 11 you boys only think of yourselves Lorna chipped in. I imagine that the owner of this note must be anxiously searching for it all over the place. Oh, I suggest we look around to see dash we can find the owner. 11 now. A. How. B. If. C. That. And D. When. So, which one is correct here? Which one is right here to fill in the gap? I suggest we look around to see how we can find it, the owner. I suggest we look around to see if we can find the owner. I suggest we see, sorry, I suggest we look around to see that we can find the owner. And D, I suggest we look around to see when we can find the owner. The, 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 right, word, the, the right option here is C and B. I suggest we look around to see if we can find the owner. And not how we can find the owner. Let's look around in case we find the owner. That is option B, if. Okay, number 12. We argued for the dash few minutes. A, the next few minutes, the past few minutes, the coming few minutes, the, the immediate few minutes. I think that the next few minutes, option A, is correct. The next few minutes is correct. Option A, number 13. And finally, agreed that we dash use the money to have some fun. 13. We finally agreed that we can use the money to have some fun. We finally agreed that we must use the money to have some fun. We finally agreed that we would use the money. Okay, we finally agreed that we will. No, we are talking in the past tense. 
can is not appropriate here because it's a word in the present tense. Must is not right. Will is in the present tense. The only one that you no know, agrees with the tense that is being used in this passage is would. So finally, we agreed that we would use the money to have some fun. That is option C. Option C. Okay, 14. Hey, fellows, I've just lost dash money. How do you describe money? What, what have you just lost? Is it much money? Is it the money? Is it that money or some money? So, which of the words is the most appropriate or to describe money in here the man did not lose much money he did not lose the money not the money not that money so you can call it some money option d hey fellow i've just lost some money he said option d option d I've just lost some money. Have you found if okay? I've just lost some some money. He said, almost out of breath. Have you found a five hundred shilling note around here? Note that should be note. A five hundred shilling note around here. Okay. We all turned and looked at James, who was still holding the note, looking confused. James slowly handed over the money to the man who quickly expressed dash when and and then walked away. What do you express to somebody you no know, who helped you to find your money? You express joy to him? Do you express gratitude to him? Do you express luck to him? Or you express confidence? The right word there is gratitude, and that is the expression. An expression of thanks. Okay, we move on from there. 